that really shows the importance of not only having the food offer as well, mm. but oh, those so. creating memories yeah. as well for families. Yeah. Um, one thing that, that we've massively learned from it is that what the food hubs are offering is, is more than just a stick in plaster. So if you think about the social supermarkets, the people's pantries, yeah. all of that, the wider support network is about doing more than just sorting out the immediate crisis. Um, so since then we've had Christmas, so we did lots and lots of hampers, um, pretty much all the centres were drowning in crates over Christmas, so um, we did 63 hampers, Courtney Road fed 85 children at Christmas dinner and they had 600 visitors to their grotto as well. Um, and we, so Looking back on the last year, we've massively seen a growth in working together, um, kind of a much more joined up approach and coordinating the efforts and the timetables. Um, we've recognised the, the positives in growing the offer, so we've seen new projects come into um, the area and we've worked with them, which is a massive positive. I don't think you can have too many social supermarkets if it was up to me. Um, but this does add a financial pressure on the projects, you know. Um, and I think that really, it shows that the partnership working that's been happening is, is genuine because that has been happening and that means the projects have been getting less funding because it has to go wider, but it's still happening. So I think that's a real genuine um, growth we can take from it really. Uh, we've seen a massive growth in numbers, um, including more parents coming along as well. So we've had to grow our support networks for parents. Um, and we're beginning to address kind of a lot of those issues by looking at alternative funding. Um, so last month we just finished a bid to the Department of Education for We're All Wide um, through um, the local authority with Joe's house as well, which I think came to over 800,000 um, in the end we bid for. Um, and that would provide Free school meals, but also not um, free school meals during the holidays through the projects. But it would also um, provide activities, sports coaching. We worked with the leisure centres to get kind of the discounted swimming and the free swimming back again. So fingers crossed, we find out this month, and if we get that, that would be brilliant for the whole mm. of the world. Um, and it would mean that we can um, we can offer a provision in every single ward is what we've worked to do. So there is a project in every single ward who has come to us and said, we'll be willing to support this. So wherever a child or a family live across Wirral, they would have that offer really, really quickly, <coughs> which is brilliant. Um, just this week, which it's not on here, but just this week, um, thinking nationally, um, all this work that the local food hubs do as well, we feed back into our national network through Feeding Britain. Um, this week, a um, bill that was introduced by Emma Lewell Book, I think it was, which is about um, measuring food insecurity. Um, the DWP and the government have actually agreed to measure food insecurity across the UK. Um, it's not something that is measured or asked mm. at the moment, so we can't actually tell how many people are experiencing it, but from the projects I think we know wherever you go. In rural, you will see it. So, hopefully, over the next few years, we'll be starting to get actually more concrete information about how many families are, are living in those situations. Very quickly, through February half term. Um, <coughs> <coughs>